Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. 22 veterans a day in this country commit suicide. We're here to raise awareness and apparently not hit that bottle, but we're going to bring awareness to it every day. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. Uh, you fought for us. Let us fight for you. You're very, very important to us. I can't say that enough. We back the blue here. How do we do that, Scab? We don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Now, today we're doing all-terrain chopper. <clears throat> it's a really good chopper. A little bit of deflection there and a total miss there. Here we go. There you go, Scab. Get in the game. It don't matter what you're swinging. You've got to pay attention, and you got to want to be there. Now, I definitely want to be there. But got a little overconfident, and I screwed up. That's why I put these clips in there because I'm human. And I probably missed right there, too. But overall, I can tell you with, a, with all certainty that the all-terrain chopper gets it done, and this video gets way better as far as my aim. Now, some of this was shot yesterday. Some of it was today. We're going to baseball bat it there. And I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> this I like this all-terrain chopper. I really do. Um, if I'd quit dicking around there and hit the thing, it'd probably do a lot better. Now, it's a little bit different on the weight. Um, it's a little heavy. That's not a big deal. You just two hand it. I can one hand it. But what I'm saying is it's shorter. Pretty good reflexes there by Old Scabber. It's shorter, so it's compact and it does hit hard. It hits, um, it, it hits like a truck. Now, with some cold steel, there is some deflection. There again, that's probably operator error. So anytime you cut, and let me just go ahead and tell you, oh, looking good, air scab. Let me just say this. Anytime you're in the woods cutting, oh, yeah, my Conan pose, there we go. Make sure you pay attention. Make sure you get your cuts right. And when I say you, I mean me, because I have asked paid attention on the first couple. Now, <clears throat> just out clearing some bush, let me go ahead and put in my normal disclaimer. Uh, these woods are going to be cleared out anyway. This is right over there by the house where they're putting in houses. So all this is getting bulldozed. Yes, I have permission to be in there. So we're just kind of cutting out, cutting as we go. I'm making sure I'm on camera and not actually off camera like I so often do. Now, here we are cutting some briars and moving through it. Now one thing, I will, okay, here we go. See how that's just kind of cleaning that off? This thing is sharp. What I was saying about, about hitting myself with the tree there, what I was saying with the deflection <clears throat> and cold steel, sometimes they feel so good in hand, you think you can swing it and and without any error, and that's foolish. You got to pay attention. But you see the sharpness of it? I like it, and it took me a minute, but I got a little more used to it. There we go. There's the scab we know holding it off camera. I recognized it a lot quicker this time. Again, you see the sharpness. It just took me a minute. It took me probably a good 10 minutes. Look at that thing. So it cut you in half. It took me about 5, 10 minutes to get used to it. <clears throat> and I've got so many different things. I'm showing you what I'm going to hit right there. I've got so many different machetes and things like that, guys. Sometimes, uh, really, truly, honestly, I tried to spin it good. I just need to pay better attention. And uh, really, really, really. Just focus on the swing, and you should do that always. I know that, but sometimes cold steels feel so good in hand, they feel so heavy in hand that you feel like you can just one hand it, uh, and you can't, as I proved. Now, again, you see just the overall sharpness of the machete, and you see me holding it off screen. So there we go, stripping off a little bark. It did pretty good. I do like this thing. I like it more for a heavy duty chopper. Um, now. These are those Hackenberry things that I hate. I tried to get more double swing. You see that deflection again. Now. Now, 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 now. I got better as I went. I'll we'll just try to show you some cleaning, some swinging here. Try to go a little more left-handed. So I'll be balanced. Make y'all happy. I wanted, to, I wanted to swing both hands with like, you know, a little, little of both. One hand, then swap hands, then some double hands. About fell, busted my ass right there. See, you get it all with old scab. I don't edit nothing out. Half of this should have probably been edited out. Because you're probably thinking, my God, that guy has no clue. Well, you come out here in the wood and try to do it. I, that's all I'm going to tell you. 
Now, you see me reaching there a little bit. <clears throat> Doubled up on that one. See that one fall, don't you? There you go. There it is. I don't know why I'm mad at you. Y'all ain't done nothing. Now, these are those old hackingberry trees. I like cutting these trees down because they're kind of, they start off as a weed. That's why I don't ever worry about cutting them down. But they start off really, really rubbery and they'll bounce you. They will, they don't, you know, some woods you can just hit and it'll go right in and you look like a rock star. These hackingberries will make you work for it. Especially when you uh, are three foot tall and a little short swinger layer like that. Now, this, this, the all terrain is made out of 1055. It is, I do like this thing. I, I started off, the video started off rough. I tried to show you the worst parts up front. I got a lot more time in on it today. Let me say that up front. Yesterday was probably 30, 40 minutes <clears throat> after swinging the uh, Aatrox, which I damn sure love a whole bunch. Here we're moving the camera. I just said screw it, turn it off and reset it. Here's some more hackingberry trees. Now, today I probably put two hours in. And you can tell the difference in today swinging than yesterday swinging. A lot more used to it, a lot more balanced. Um, still, and I sharpened it up some. I went through. I, I need to say that yesterday, I really it was pretty sharp out of the box. Um, I just felt like I wanted to go ahead. I didn't put a lot of time into it, but about 15, 20 minutes. Um, made sure the edge wasn't rolled. Got rid of any burrs. You know how it is. I will say this sometimes. When you pay twenty to thirty dollars for one of these things, which isn't much, um, it's going to take a little blade maintenance. You now you can disagree all you want, but I've got nine or ten of these things, and every one of them you had to do a little edge maintenance too. Not a big deal if you enjoy that kind of thing. Uh, I've always said tomahawks, machetes, things like that from Cold Steel, they're fun project pieces. Don't buy them thinking you're getting some. Now, they're badass, and they're awesome, and I love every one of them. Don't get me wrong. But I also love putting in a little time, getting the burrs off of them. Re I, I, I didn't have to reprofile this. I just, just basically stood the blade back up. Now you can see me get it with it right here. And for, this, for as much weight as this thing has to it, it doesn't fatigue you. I love the handle. The handle's a little bit bigger. Now, tomorrow we're going to get out there with a barong, a barang, I don't know. There we go. Then they look, look at that. They looked at twice. That's how confident I am with this thing. And I got a caught in some briar. There we go. Cut the briar right there. And there we have it. Well, guys, I love you. God bless you. I'm scabbed. You're not. We gone.